What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to remind you where we left off last time, we are continuing our broad front advance um, up through Indian territory. And to be honest, there's not a lot they can really do to stop us. So our first first action here is to destroy these two stacks, which will free up the road to Nagpur as well as allow us to support some more forces to the west towards Ahmadnagar. But first we must take out these Mughal troops. So let's take them out. So I am quite looking forward to once we've taken all of India we can pretty much attack the entirety of Europe from every direction. We can land land in Spain, land in Morocco, land in France, we're in Sweden, we can push up through Persia, land in Russia some pretty good times I think we've made well once we've broken India it should become a bit more of a fait accompli okay so let's drop a, drop a unit of guns here deploy one actually I might okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deploy my infantry like so in a fairly dumb formation can prob I'd like to push up deploy my infantry more like this I'm going to deploy them like that oh nuts okay mistakes were made but I, but I, but I can't find that sweet spot now wherever it was there we go so I'd like to deploy these men a bit further out to take advantage of the terrain here but I'm anxious because of the other troops because of the other armies okay did you guys Oh, okay, right. I got lined them up onto the wrong unit of artillery. I get you. Clone your light on each flank, general on the center, and let's see if the reinforcements screw us over. No, they do not. In which case, then, let's form our line. All of our artillery is focusing on, all the howitzers are focusing on their artillery. And it has knocked them out to their credit to direct our howitzer fire a bit more. I am aware that their cavalry is pushing, so it's probably get these guys to focus on the general's bodyguard. You men drop into square. Twelve pounder team might deploy over on the right. Hmm. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards, Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. I think it's probably best to do what we're doing. Just need to be ready when they do push. Because the question is, do I... Okay, if I do this... Break square and... Reform our line. So the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards have pushed on the left, but have been seen off push up our left flank, move our cavalry forward to try and hit the native lancers. Looks like they are aware of what's going on. Those men are going to be getting shot uh, as they charge in front of our line. Looks like the cavalry on the right is actually moving back. Pull this cavalry back. 
Come on, these native lancers should fall. Well, yeah, they, they're always going to rout you eventually. So now I've got a better flank to deal with all of this cavalry and the elephants on the flank as well. Royal Indian Cavalry Guards have returned. So we're getting some skirmishing hits off against them. Let's get some of our howitzers to start hitting these cavalry units, because our other flanks are pretty stable. I'm trying to flank our position, but hopefully once the howitzers have, have uh, reloaded, they will. It's the general's bodyguard. Aim at the general's bodyguard. General's bodyguards routing. The cavalry still hunker down. Switch to round shot, focus fire that native lancer unit. A uh, unit of dervishes has made it. Okay, why can't you. Say, why can't you deploy? The unit of dervishes did make it to our line. So Hindu warriors are also looking to make it. Our howitzers did not fire on. these enemy cavalry units like we would like. The dervishes are likely to lose this engagement. Charge my cavalry down to go hit the Indian cavalry guards on the flank. They're still creeping around. Yeah, you guys better hit the Hindu warriors as well. Keep wheeling some infantry around on the flank. Just to provide a blocker. We're going to beat the Lancer Cavalry because after the merge, well, uh, yeah, after the cavalry's charged, then that's when regular sword cavalry is superior. Once you get past the Lancer Point, it's like killing rabbits. Good, now we're dropping some quick climb on the on the, the lances. Cannons to shot, the danger close. Pull my cavalry back. <clears throat> Looks like it's about they're about to charge the native lances. You men charge the Royal Indian Cavalry Guard. Let's bring our general back. This infantry can stay where it is because they can keep those elephant musketeers at range. Let's bring our general's bodyguard into battle against the Royal Cavalry Guards. Another general's bodyguard unit coming into view. I need to kill these lancers before those Islamic swordsmen bring their guns to bear. You men need to reload and fire at the elephants. Field artillery. You need to start doing counter battery work against the great gun. The elephants have started to come in. Fortunately, the 60 seconds should do some good damage against those elephants. Come on. Kill the native lancers before you yourselves are killed.
charge my cavalry in against the elephants. It's probably not a great idea, but there's not a lot else I can really do. Might make them break. I'll take that. Just continue to attack the general's bodyguard, who may get a kill on the general. We have... Oh, my cavalry. Hit the Hindu warriors first. Pull my cavalry back behind a safe and reloaded line of my infantry. And you guys drop in the square because there's an infantry cavalry guard unit coming for you. Good, you are knocking them out. Here comes the reinforcing army coming in. Okay, let's charge this cavalry in to hit the horsemen so we don't do too much damage to our infantry. Once we've made it past our infantry unit, then we hit the charge. Artillery should be engaging the great gun. Here's they are not. Go for the camels with our quick line because they're coming in. You guys counter charge the Indian Royal Indian Guards. I definitely retargeted my howitzers, but I guess they don't care. You may form alone. Okay, the Islamic swordsmen are pushing on the flank. guys are still sparring with the musketeers. Unleash canister shot onto the camels. You guys charge into the Islamic swordsmen. We were just managing to clip the top of the, the riders over the terrain. Okay, now fire a round shot, go after the great gun. There we go, the musketeers have been killed. Reform our line. My flag is wavering, that wasn't great. So these men need to focus firing on the swordsmen. Let's get my cavalry out then. Actually charge in, charge, don't just keep a strong front line. This weak cavalry can push over onto the left, same with my general. My battle line, I can't compromise my battle line for the left. I need my I need my battle line to remain strong. Focus on quick climbing the reinforcements as they come in. Sorry the 132nd, you have to face these men alone. I especially don't want these pikemen to also make it to our battle line at the same time, so... Is my artillery having any luck against their guns? Mm, 
end of having good luck. Point you men, reload as fast as you can, because they're still coming. I need to put them down. Dervishes coming up. Still have men trying to push around the right flank. Okay, General. You try charge the Islamic swordsmen. See if you can be the... the force that breaks them. I don't think so. So we've definitely shown that that's the target they want to go for, though. But I still want to be uncompromising in the defence. You men charge the 125th. Charge my general back in. These dervishes think they're going to, they might be able to get into support, but I don't think they are. The swordsmen are wavering, and now they are broken. Oh, they're shattered, actually. Colonial light and general's bodyguard. Sprint. Go take out those guns. Get all our howitzers to open up on the right flank, because they might be the most annoying. These guys can actually be hit by my artillery. My general's bodyguard and my other weak cavalry can go knock out their guns to the rear. The canister shot's going to do a real number on these chaps. That's for darn sure. That's for my cavalry. It's incredibly depleted, but by god it's done good stuff. So let's go. The dervishes are coming back because they know, what, they realise what's going to happen. Same with the pikemen. They accept the only outcome is the destruction of these troops. Hindu warriors are finally starting to push up. She's got quick lined real good. General, fall back. Run. Run, General, run. He's routing. My cavalry's having a good time hitting these pikemen. I've been engaged by the camel gunners. Switched to round shot, engaged them with my field artillery, who chased off the Hindu warriors. These Hindu musketeers are lining up, ready to fire a volley. You've had a good, fun time, but now it's too dangerous. Dervishes are still getting hit by quick blame and they're still getting fired upon by some of my infantry. Just getting them back to safety. back here they can't they're just so depleted there's very little they can do in terms of doing too much damage dervishes have been seen off hindu musketeers are about to eat it and these uh, 
Zamindari pikemen are also about to get a whole base full of, of canister shot, musketry, and they're gone. These guys have seen the error of their ways as well. That was a bit scrappy, but a victory nonetheless. I'm going to continue it, because I do have some cavalry and they're not bugged, so... Not much cavalry, I accept, but some. Enough that I can do... I can do something. Probably want to focus on these guys. My cavalry is so weak. And these men can also chase down another unit of pikemen. Just, just get kills. Don't worry about... Don't worry particularly about trying to kill a particular unit. Hey, hold. So I don't think I can realistically... I don't think I'm going to kill any of these units in particular. But we're still going to do damage to them. Enough damage to make it worth doing on the campaign map, at least. Like these guys especially are doing an okay job at fanning out. At the very least, we might get some more experience on our general, make him a bit more resilient. I mean, you might, might. Well, I was going to say they might take these guys out, but they have spread out, so... They might, actually. Let's focus on this. Ah, no. Ah, damn. Okay, General. Come and help take out these pipes. Ah, no, they're going to escape, because there's the edge of the line. My cavalry is so tired, they nearly managed to rout themselves, they were so tired. It says close victory. Uh, it was a bit dodgy, but strategically it wouldn't have mattered if we lost. Because that's that army destroyed. Anything more? That army's pushed Forward. back. So these guys Forward. can replenish and call up a unit of guard to call for reinforcement. Sir. We've got this force of good spirits nearby to reinforce. You guys can replenish. Your humble servant. You guys are replenishing. But these guys are all replenishing, waiting yes, for the uh, this army to attempt to push. Our troops are replenishing up here near Satara. Can you guys hit that guy? Yes. Without drawing in the garrison at Amadnagar. Sir. So these guys are likely going to need to take a few turns to replenish. You guys are on spying onward. Uh, these guys, I don't want them to push onto Nagpur until Didier Vauban has pushed, taken out this force here, and they can attack Barah from two directions. Over in the Americas. Our men are going to keep pushing up. This force here, can you leave? Nope, because they are very upset. No need to worry about recruitment here. Okay, let's move my priest over to Cherokee territory. Then in England, so we are, we're in Sweden, we're in Copenhagen, we've got a fortifies, we've got a, Austria's doing pretty good. Yes, my lord. Okay, this guy, you can actually force this navy at Malmo to Sally, then we'll just auto that because a bunch of fifth rates versus my kick-ass fleet. And then let's probably put a sloop in Rostock, because it is the enemy. 
It is an enemy fleet. You guys, let's pick a first straight ship of the line. Crew and Admiral. You guys can make your repairs. Greenwich, you can start to churn out some fifths to act as a little raiding force. Because there's a lot of, I was about to say a lot of enemy trade coming through here. But there is not, because we've got the uh, blockading the Swedish home port. I don't think there's a lot else to, to do. I mean, you could push out and hit them immediately. Can you leave Calcutta? You can, and they love us. Religious unrest is going down because of good Catholic teachings. But you might push on hit Muscat Kachwaha. Because this would allow our other troops to then break out towards um, Akbarabad. Let's take him out. Yeah, the, the center of gravity has shifted. We've got so many troops in the Indian theatre, they can't really do anything about it. This is the reason why I like having so many armies, is that you end up, while one army... Some glitches there. While one army replenishes, we do see... Ooh, okay. Artillery Park back here. And we're going to push. Um, but I like I like having one an army replenishing an army in good condition. Actually, this is a bit of a dodgy army to push with because we've got such little such little infantry and a lot of not necessarily great cavalry. I mean, we'll be fine. Let's push around the left of this village. It's got buckets of artillery support. There we go. Covering the flank infantry. Center. Okay, Regiment of Horse. Push forward, take out their mortars. Howitzers engage real targets. So I've got the other. Soundberg. I haven't had one of those in a while, actually. Push my cavalry up. A 24 pounder foot artillery is actually falling back. Okay, let's pick our, our field artillery, engage this unit back here. Our infantry line run. General's been killed by a stray cannonball. Pull my cavalry out of the out of here because it looks like this Kizilbashi cavalry are moving up to try and cause us some problems. La Indian lances on the on the flank are pushing up. Lots of quick climb coming in, causing lots of upset. Yeah, these cavalrymen are going to get skirmished away. Keep on pushing. A bit. Okay, you guys might. A lot of these guys might want to dump into square. Are 
you guys dump into somewhere. Oh no, they've changed their mind. Get you guys out of square. Commit my cavalry in to go hit the dervishes to stop them from interfering with our push. Quick climb is hammering the centre of their formation. Charge these guys in to hit the dervishes as well. You guys can move to continue to engage. We used to have the lancers on the flank. Lots of bowmen. Pull back quickly. Let's push our line up. Hmm. The best. If I put you like that, we will keep engaging everyone. All my artillery folks fire the general's bodyguard. If we take them out, then we have an advantage on this flank. My cavalry hit their lances. Dervishes are being shot to bits as they move in on our line. You stay up here, because you've got another unit of bowmen. Might cause problems for us on the flank. Dervish is still being shot. Charge these men to the bowman combat. Dervishes have been pushed back, which means uh -oh. those war elephants were charging. They can see their their heads, you know, rolling from side to side. Okay, you guys, fire, engage. I've been fired in the rear by a unit of lances. It's not great. Nail our cavalry through the centre, start to try and hit some of the other bad guys. The bowmen are gone. Comes all my guys onto the cavalry. You guys get out of square. You guys get out of square. Charge the Islamic swordsmen down to prevent them from getting into the combat. You guys nail it in, change our howitzers to switch to round shot and engage the elephants. You guys form up. Now winning against our infantry and our guardsmen, at least for now, and now they're wavering. Lance is going to charge into some of our men from the rear. It's unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Let's keep our cavalry dedicated towards pushing the enemy troops away, or just getting them to flee the battle. You guys can come back. Elephants have fallen back from 
concentrated artillery fire. You guys can counter charge those lancers. And you guys all jump into square to fight this Pahi. The bowmen are all going to fall. My artillery focus on that unit of Zimandari pikemen to the rear. Charge into the lancers. Actually, don't charge into the lancers now, then. Push up. All the howitzers engage the general's bodyguard. You guys get out of square. Keep pushing the cavalry. Push up the infantry. You guys keep legging it because they are going to uh, get within range if you let them. I think these guys want to charge my cavalry. And they're welcome to. I might have to actually charge them just to hold them still in front of my guard infantry. So you guys reload and shoot the bejesus out of them. Fire! Okay, now kill the general's bodyguard. Guardsmen moving hard against the dervishes. Field artillery. You guys, stay away from my troops. Smelly, smelly pikemen. All my artillery. Hit that pike unit. We did kill the generals. This is a bit surplus to requirements. It's probably not do it. So bring my cavalry around over here. Just call all my cavalry back. These are pikemen. Allow the pikemen to run into our line. Engage and kill the dervishes. They're too dangerous to be left alive. Okay, there we go. All that remains is for these pikemen to walk into our battle line, but it looks like they're going to try not to and do some shenanigans. There they go. Yeah, you try and chase down the two fangy. Speed up time. We're going to continue, but it won't take very long. They've not got men on the field. You can try and take out the two fangy. You're not going to make it. So instead, let's get you all. Got my reinforcing general in. Get them all to chase down these pikemen. Because at least with these pikemen, we might have a chance to actually destroy the unit. Because these guys, they're gone. Look at that. Pikemen destroyed. Go after the Dakili. But yeah, they're d there they go. Decisive victory. Damn right. That unit, that army has been decimated. Well, not literally. Oh, no, it has. Kind of. Nah, quartered, roughly. Onward. Make ready. So you men replenish. These units Forward. push up. This Forward. unit push up on the far bank. Onward. Yeah, stay on the far bank. Can't do that, General. 
good stuff. So I think all there is to do is hit end turn and see how things develop. Let our spies move up. Let our agents move up. Good. If the Royal Navy decide to act up, then we can just uh, we can just send a a fleet to go land, burn down their burn down their ships that are currently sat in Courland. And that'll be the end of them. The French are holding on for now. But they, yeah, they're being attacked by Austria, and Austria has pushed up quite the front line against them. Is that something they will have to uh, bear in mind? Got no visibility on what's going on inside of Austria, chiefly because we don't have any relations with them, and I have no... No agents on the continent. I mean, if I get any in Europe, that's where I'll probably send them. And they're actually chasing down the Spanish. But will it last? That's the question. They're going to reorganise their fleets. Put into port. Probably do a bit of repairs. Don't worry, though, Austria. We're going to smash up through the Middle East and just... Oh, it's gonna, we're going to be attacking... So, oh, we're going to be attacking from everywhere. It's going to be brilliant. I should probably be standing up troops in England ready for that attack, but we've still got... We've got time. Realistically, we're not going to take India out for a few more turns yet. Sooner or later, uh, some of these factions will know. These factions will know the end is nigh. Building up troops near Berar and they're pushing some east. Blockade me all you like. You're not uh, not doing what you need to do in order to beat us, Mughal Empire, and that's win on the field. Okay, they are. So they are not. They're not. Uh, they're not afraid of the challenge. They're doing some sneaky maneuvers. So blockade Colombo. I don't care if they blockade Colombo. Oh, these men are still replenishing. This army might put Ahmad Nagar under siege just to lock those troops in to stop them from moving. Let's upgrade our church schools and our economy buildings. You guys are going to march east into these plantations. Yes, sir. I recruited a cavalry unit to join them from somewhere. These guys fall back just to just in case they this force attempts to try and flank around. They're a bit a bit vulnerable, so let's do some merging. Let's top up some of our units. Our just regular line infantry units are still there. So what do you need? Yes, you need, well... Cavalry might be best. Forward! For crown Ready and for country! And the lances. Okay, so what we're going to do... Majesty. This army is going to push up to the next bridge. At the ready. This army is going to go around this army. Because these guys are going to push in and auto-fight them. Because we've already destroyed this army. Victory. 
for crown and country. And then you guys Sir. are also going to push it. Uh, Sir. You guys can't nip around and successfully take out the remnants of those troops. So you men push into Akbarabad. Well, this priest push into Akbarabad. Sir. These armies need to replenish some more before pushing on to Bera. Because we've got a Madnagar under siege, Ready and awaiting orders. you can push up a bit further Forward. towards Surat. Can you guys leave Satara? Minus Go. seven. No, Forward. not yet. Let's recruit a turn's worth of militia to go and join them. See, we are recruiting lots of guards, lots of guard units here, without actually deploying them into into the armies. Okay, you stop recruiting your cavalry. Let's actually do some merging. Try and free up some slots that could be replaced by. I mean, I suppose you still need cavalry. Okay, let's actually get a unit of crossiers. Your Majesty. So you're going to push north. Ready for orders. To be honest, you, Maurice Duplier, you can push Forward. up because this reinforcing column can take up position in Satara. Religious unrest is going down. Let's upgrade the port to a global trading company. Troy kill this agent or this priest again. Let's actually not repair, not repair this pleasure garden. Let's knock it down and rebuild it. Then this force here at Madnagar, which... Settlement we are going to attack because we want to take this army out then we're going to cross this river hit Ahmedabad and Ujjain and probably then push up and hit Berar as well really getting the putting the screws to them here but as a part of that we do need to take this territory Ahmadnagar so let us destroy them we do have lots of reinforcements open to us if we want to use them which we kind of don't Then this will be another territory secured, contributing to our economy. And another heavy blow dealt towards the Mughal Empire. So we want to push on the right flank. Deploy our guns down here, deploy our howitzers. Keep them mobile for now. This is going to be our pushing army. Pushing force. These guys are going to... I'm not sure quite what they're going to do. They're going to be a bit on the defensive. Let's put the bulk of our cavalry on the right. Cressiers on the left. General in the centre. So what I like... What I would like is these guys to... Oh, God damn it. Run. Okay, my heart says can and limber safely. Let's push some infantry through the town they're going to be a bit isolated Curacia has got a bit of a hammering oh, our artillery's artillery is landing amongst them our quick climbing how it uh, quick climbing how it serves focus on other real targets I mean it's too late some of them they've already fired against the they've already fired against the easy target so you guys push up even more aggressively keep the cavalry pressing 
So these troops that are close to them is what the mortars are focusing on, which isn't too bad for us. We do want to push up to begin engaging them. Send our cuirassiers to take out the general's bodyguards. The other East India Company men can push on. These guys continue to flank around. Cuirassiers can push up to support. Actually, I might drop my quick climb into this chunk. Because that concentration of troops is going to be the biggest problem. We may as well all try and kill or at least break the general. There we go. Quick climb fire is causing quite a lot of morale problems. What I want, what I'd like is to push my men up to here. But I don't think I'm going to get that opportunity. These Hindu warriors are going to charge in. I'm wondering if it's going to look like the right. Well, the right is going to get charged with a lot of melee troops. You men push up. My cuirassiers go hit the levee. These men form a position on the left flank like this. Let's commit our cavalry into the fight. Levy on the on the flank is going to get knocked out, which is good. Our quick climbing howitzers are still focusing on not necessarily the units we're the most bothered about. They managed to break through our line. Uh, that's going to be a difficult needle to thread there. Get our howitzers hitting some of these units on the right flank. They're acting as a bit of a blocker for my cavalry attempting to support the, the line. Those infantry units are not going to last. All my cavalry can really do is try and create some havoc behind their lines. New men set up. Let's try and shoot into the back of the Islamic swordsman. Hey, left the unit behind. New men run up. Let's run the 61st ahead to try and get around the back of these men in melee combat. You guys probably need to go help Fight the Hindu warriors, you men push up to engage the Tufangi. Okay, now you're behind them. Charge! 154th, you reload. Pour fire into the backs of these Islamic swordsmen. It's not a great set of hits, but it'll have to do. Okay, so where's all my cavalry? You're here, you're there, you're up here. Don't bother chasing down the levy. Charge the pikemen. These men are all cutting the 18th Dakili to ribbons. You men charge at the back of the Hindu musketeers. Some of their men are starting to get upset. So are ours, so are ours, but... Switch our artillery to uh, round shot. Charge 
charge the 20th Dakiri from behind from the rear. There's some Hindu warriors all the way at the back that look like they're going to attempt to continue to harass us. As we are cavalry into the two Fangi, we can then pivot this infantry. to be ready to run our general up to intercept those guys. These men form up to fire into the flank of the 18th. Hindu warrior combat still going on. To be honest, let's just send our cavalry on into the Hindu warriors. Everyone else I think is done for. Yeah, there they go. Chase them down. Let's stop all of our artillery. All of our cavalry then go hit this you hit a firelock arm populace. These Hindu warriors are finally shattered. Form these guys into the line. The 18th have put up quite a quite a spirited defence, considering they've been there this whole time. And especially as they've been fired fired in all directions. Maybe it's because they're behind this little hill, and no one can really do much damage to them. These guys charge in and hit the firelock arm populace. They're very unhappy and they're broken. Good stuff. Let's end the battle there with a solid win for our forces. There we go, we lost, a th we lost nearly a thousand men, but we took the city. Let's repair the, the governor's building. Let's reinforce all the troops. Go to church school. Build a probably a tea plantation. Even if it's not worth as much, it's still it's still worth building because I don't actually have any. I don't actually have as much tea exports. Oh god damn! Actually, I got loads of tea. It's cotton. I've not got a lot of. Oh, that's from India. In the Americas, I've got lots of, lots of uh, cotton. And our only trade partners are Persia and Austria, and Austria's about eighty-four thousand a turn. It's part of the reason why it's so important to uh, keep our economy upgrades going in India, because we're going to lose all of that trade eventually when we declare on them. Hop back over to Europe, because the last thing to do, I think, is to send you. Send you there, push that navy out, auto resolve it with our enormous fleet, which we destroyed every single ship and didn't lose a single one. Push you guys towards Troops. Stockholm. These ships can sit here. Prepare for action, you scurvy dogs! Copenhagen. Therefore, their army is complete. Leave the built. So let's march you guys out of the city. Forward! It's doable. We don't actually have a church building there. But let's get this sloop up. Set sail. Yes, sir. Jump to it and look sir. Anything more? Aye, sir. Disembark my men. Just because Berlin is currently undefended. Let's demand their surrender. All of their buildings are damaged. But let's replenish. We'd have to replenish my men and let's build fortifications. Let's knock down the university and get ready to replace it with a Catholic school. 
upgrade the steam powered cloth mill. Let's probably just destroy one of these pleasure gardens. Berlin hates us, but once we get rid of the clamor for reform, then they will love us. New port emerges in New Granada. Build a trade port. Let's pick up a sloop to get ready to go and occupy the port. I mean, the Mughals, this navy's just been sat here doing nothing this whole time. I've got my army here ready to take them out. I mean, I might just send Charles Louis Bonaparte to go and take him out. We lost one sea. ship, but we can claim... I don't want any of those. So where are they going to end up? Can we chase them down? We can! Let's make sure that they don't become a problem. Don't lose any. We do not want their sixth rate. Yes, Those Mughals have all become our prisoners. Let's get this ship back to its designated home port. Let's do a round of building. String, string of Patna is become a full seminary. Built some better roads over here. Copenhagen, keep upgrading. A, you need better roads, and you can also get an ordnance board. Denmark can be expanded. Port at Orissa can be expanded. Let's actually build a sloop to occupy that harbour. Hyderabad has a weaver's building, which we were already upgrading. And it's also the church school, which we are also upgrading. Good. Yes. You can stay where you are for now. Let's... No research. Well, we've captured... We've got Magdeburg, which we're going to destroy. Our research is going on handsomely. Let's hit end turn. My men continue to advance. My agent died trying to infiltrate Akbarabad. There's two Swedish stacks near the capital. It's important to know. So the Royal Navy is very far from home now in the Mediterranean. But it seems like they'll do anything to go and attack the uh, Spanish. French do not seem to be bothered. So, Austria may eventually declare war on me because we now share a border in Western Europe. They own Hanover, which we border with our Copenhagen region and now with Berlin. <laughs> Jesus. Right, okay. I mean, I don't want to say I called it, but goddamn, it's pretty good. Very well, Austria. Your doom will be decided. We've got that army that's ready to march onto Hanover that's been spawned, that I've generated in Copenhagen. My London spawn can go and hit Amsterdam and secure that territory for our empire. It looks like the global war is, is now is on. It's definitely on. They weren't joined in their war by Britain, though, which was useful. Here comes the Ottomans. I, don't, I think they rejected the Austrian proposal. I think. I'll have to check on the diplomacy side. But they're very much asking for bad times. Obviously Sweden is going to respond to this as well. 
Oh, they're going to go try to go for Norway. Oh no, we're... Okay, we've got our force at Norway. You're going to do some raiding and that's completely fine. Pulling their men out northward. Concentrating their troops around Berar, that could be a bit difficult. Intercept. Do I want to intercept? The answer to that is pro eh, probably. We've got a couple of. We've only, we've only really got one depleted unit. We've got lots of Gurkhas, which we need to be careful of. But apart from that, I think we are going to intercept. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for hopefully the destruction of another Moogle stack. Cheers, everyone.